Hello and welcome to this new reading vlog. In this reading vlog, I am going to be reading three Indian books. Number one is Karan by Kevin Missal. This is the latest release of a very well-known author that I have reviewed and featured way too much on the channel. Number two book is actually a very short novella and that is The Blue Umbrella by Ruskin Bond. It's actually a short story but I have had this little book for quite a long time so I want to read this. And lastly, I have The Brahmin by Ravi Shankar Ete. So I don't know how to pronounce the name of the author but I have read one book by the author Killing Time in Delhi and it was not an enjoyable read. Let's get started with this reading vlog. Are you excited? Okay, here's how a typical Sunday looks like for me. I woke up in the morning, I had a lot of managerial tasks to do for my business and this was income tax filing time. So I had to work along with my CA to, you know, just complete the income tax filing works. Yes, he also works on Sunday. <laughs> After that, I had to film a few videos for you guys. So I started filming. I was able to film three videos, two for the book clip channel and one for my marketing channel. I was able to then edit all of these videos. I also had to go to a Gurudwara. So I went there. Then I came back, edited the videos once again. And on Sunday, I post the booktube video as well as my vlog. So vlog was already pre-edited. So I just had to post them, which is about like an hour long work. After doing all of that, now I am free to read it spend my entire Sunday on reading which by the way it's 7 p.m. right now it took this amount of time but now I have um, Karan the King of Ang by Kevin Missal now I have read about 91 pages of this book so this is a very long book I think one of the thickest books I have um, picked up of Kevin Missal and now I have about 440 pages to read I had planned to finish this book today itself I'm not sure that would happen because I hadn't expected my Sunday would be that busy. This is Tuesday and I am still at like 115th page of the book. I haven't had much time to read. All right, it's Wednesday and I finally have some time for the books. I am reading Kevin Missal's book, but I also wanted to like take a break from it for a moment. So I am reading the second book of the vlog, The Blue Umbrella, and it's a very short novella or it, you can even call it a short story. I'm almost about 60 pages done with this book. This book needs no introduction. It's one of the most popular works of Ruskin Bond, who is one of the most popular authors of India. And this book is all about this little girl, this young girl, Binya, who finds his blue umbrella and the whole village is now jealous of her blue umbrella and it's amazing how I've been able to look at the themes that the author has been able to point out in the book for example how prejudiced city people are um, against the village people and how he talks of um, that elder people are so jealous of Binya's umbrella but you know they won't talk about it whereas kids they are not jealous they are just like very happy and they are all about like wow Binya you have this umbrella but not older people they are just jealous in secrecy and then there is also this uh, shopkeeper who actually is way too jealous and who just wants this umbrella for himself so basically village people are envious of Binya and you know do not approve Binya having um, an umbrella which is more suited to a lady than a village girl like Binya but then there is this Ram Bharosa guy <laughs> who wants this umbrella for himself so that's what the short story is all about I have just finished reading this book this short story and it was actually a pretty good one a very short one and seriously if you want to give something to somebody pick this up you know could be a nice gift could be something you should read for yourself and you know enjoy by the way I, I think everybody knows but this short story has also been adapted into a movie that you can watch you know just letting you know in case you don't know guys Saturday here and here's the thing I'm having a hard time actually being able to read okay I pick up the book and then I feel not interested and then I start a tv show and that has been happening with me since a while so I have decided to remedy that thing today by committing to read for at least an hour 
the plan is to read for two hours but i don't want to say it over here even here which will go up weeks after but still i just want to try out you know reading for at least an hour and then another hour today and see how much i'm able to read this book i'm 200 pages done with it actually really enjoying it i feel like kevin missile has really worked on it in a better way because most of the kevin missile books even though i like them a lot i always um, point this out that the writing feels a little bit rushed this one does not feel that way maybe it's the thing that i am reading a kevin missile book after a long time but i read one last year or in the beginning of this year i don't remember but uh, yeah this one definitely doesn't feel rushed this one feels like a good solid fantasy novel I feel like i'm having a hard time accepting that this is more fantasy you know it's not really connected to mahabharat um, i mean the characters are from mahabharat but uh, you know it doesn't really follow the timeline and the events that happened in the actual mahabharat so you know the things have changed a little bit even the competition where karan challenges uh, arjun and where uh, duryodhan uh, announces him as the king of ang it has been you know shown a bit differently in this book so i have been reading this book and telling myself manpreet stop thinking about the actual mahabharat and its events because that will spoil your reading experience but otherwise this has been a good book to read and now let's see how much i am able to read in next one hour i'll report back to you One hour later, I have read about 70 pages of the book. I think I am ready for another one hour session. So let's go for that and then talk about my experience for reading for two hours today. Alright, I am very happy right now because I have just finished uh, like two hours of reading and I'm at page number 351 of this book. But the more important part is I have been able to read, you know, for two hours. That was not something I've been able to do for the whole week. So I guess this is an idea for you guys. If you are going through a reading slump yourself and are struggling to read, just put on a timer on your phone, uh, give yourself first 30 minutes, then one hour and, you know, start reading. That is exactly what I did today. So I put on a timer for one hour and I started reading and I was able to read for two hours and now I'm happy. Now I can watch the TV. I actually wanted to watch watch a new show which one I don't know yet <laughs> but I just wanted to watch TV but I was like I have to read today and I did read for two hours another day of my life and I am thinking I must go for another two hour reading sprint because the last experiment was very successful I was able to like actually get into the book and enjoy it even though I sort of like forced myself to actually start reading you know so let's do that again and see how much I am able to read now again I'm reading Karan the King of Ang by Skevin Missile mm -hmm. Alright guys, the first hour for this particular sprint was actually pretty good. Honestly, I have to mention this. It's not like it was super easy for me, okay? I'm just saying it so you get a realistic picture of what I'm trying to do and you know how it really feels like if you're trying to just make yourself read for a particular amount of time. For example, when I was uh, reading, after about a few minutes, I was like, oh my god, how much time is left? And I saw the timer and 17 minutes were left. And that 17 minutes felt like an hour long actually 10 of those 17 minutes felt like an hour long and then the next seven minutes were like okay because I was at an interesting point in the book and you know I just had gotten over the whole feeling of like oh my god when will this end and all of that so yeah just giving you a realistic picture of what it may feel like if you're trying to make yourself read like this okay but i am ready for another hour okay really want to watch chicago fire right now but honestly i've been like watching like seven to eight episodes per day most of those are watched while i'm working and you know i'm just like working on my laptop and watching on the tv but still seven to eight episodes is a lot you know that's why i'm just like okay let's read for another hour and then if I have some energy left, I can watch some TV before I go to sleep. But otherwise, reading, let's get started with that once again. Another hour is done and I am just left with like 15 pages of the book. <laughs> the final event of the book is about to happen and now I've 
just I'm not sure should I just continue reading or not because I want to so I think I should do that and finish the book today and uh, tomorrow I think I'll do this thing once again with the third book that I'll start for the vlog Finally, I have finished reading this book. Honestly, I'm like really happy. I think you can judge it from my smile and seriously, I'm trying to keep it in, okay? <laughs> but uh, really feel good about this book, Karan, the King of Ang. And then the second part would be Karan, the Son of Surya. Okay, Karan. I have been trying to say it like like the proper Hindi word, but you know, I'm like so much Punjabi in me. is there that i can't just say it properly so this was a sponsored read for me i have been like reading almost all the kevin missile books when they come out um so i will do a separate review of this book but honestly i mean what the author has done with the character of karn and the kind of character arc he has given to him and the whole book the way it has been written the whole message of the book that i found okay i think every book's message is different for readers you know every reader would draw their own message it can be similar but it would be their own message the message that i drew from this book i really like that the whole book was written really well like much better than all the other kevin missile books i think so uh, almost all of his books when i read them like i i am able to find a few things that i feel like this could have been done better this could have been done better but for this book i haven't felt like this or that could have been done better because it just feels so good for the moment I might whip up something later on <laughs> when I do my review but for now I'm really really happy with the reading experience and at the same time I'm also very excited to start another book but that is a story for tomorrow and I'll do another two hour reading sprint but I don't know if I'll be able to do it tomorrow because I don't know if the book is like that that can be read for two hours that is something for you to find out in the later part of this vlog so keep watching Hi guys i am not feeling well <laughs> i have a headache and i just have been told that i should sit in the sun for a while so that my head can get all right i was really warned by my mother in law and my mother that i should sit in the sun for a while after taking a head wash which i didn't yesterday hence had a very terrible day couldn't work out properly in the gym and just okay all right point is i am sitting in the sun and i can read a book now so i have just started the brahmin by ravi shankar athe i have read one book by the author okay killing time in delhi i think it was by him only did not like that book lost a major collaboration over that <laughs> which could have panned out to make good amount of money for me a very very good collaboration but i just didn't like the book uh, but i hope this is good because i've heard a lot of good things about it so let's get started with that and see how it goes Okay guys so I am going to have a tea break and I'm going to be using this time to talk about this book this is actually a historical fiction and this is set in the time of Ashoka where one of uh, the women from his harem has been killed and then there is the talk of this assassin who might be here to kill Ashoka and the brahmin is considered one of uh, the most trusted person by the king Ashoka um, and you know he's considered to be very clever and all of that stuff and then there is this chapter that refer to the war between lord ram and the king of lanka ravan and you know that makes me think who actually is the brahmin i have a lot of theories going on in my head but honestly i have to say this book seems really good and i actually figured out i had started reading this book i have highlighted like something from like 18th or 19th page of the book but i am definitely sure that i never ended up <laughs> finishing this book or reading any further but um, looking forward to reading this book i think i'm going to like it now Cheers. So this is later much later in the day it's about 12 am okay pretty much the next day but i do want to try and read a little bit more the timer thing has been working really well for me i have been able to finish kevin missile's book blue umbrella and you know all because of the timer even when i was going through a slump so that was good which is why i want to try it out again or it's 12 am i should be sleeping now so i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it for 2 hours but let's try and do it for like 
half an hour first then half an hour and then see how it goes by the way i am enjoying this book so far i'm done with about 40 pages and as a historical fiction this certainly seems like a very promising book a lot is building up nothing has happened yet on the cover of the book there is um Anandila Kantan's review, he says a scintillating historical thriller from a master storyteller with rich details and deep characterizations. The Brahmin is that rare book that makes the division of literary and commercial fiction irrelevant. So Anand Neelakantan happens to be one of my favorite authors, okay? I really love his books. I have enjoyed all of the books that I have read written by him thoroughly. So uh, my hopes for this book have just increased a little bit, but let's see. About an hour later, I have read about 68 pages and now I need to sleep. I will get to this book tomorrow. Happy New Year, guys! Yes, while I was filming this vlog, while I've been reading these three books that I planned out for this reading vlog, it's already 2022 and that makes me feel like it's time to finish this book finally. So I am going to do that, not setting two hour timer for this, just going to finish this book. Okay guys, this is the last clip of the vlog because I have just finished reading The Brahmin. Before I talk more about this book and what I feel about it, I have to give you this information that I'm not talking much about Karan, The King of Ang because I have done a full review of the book on the channel which I will link up over here. And uh, you know, you can watch that. I will also link it down below in the description. But all in all, Karan, uh, The King of Ang was almost a 5 star read for me. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars and I'm really happy that you know I was able to read such a nice book. I enjoyed it very much and I can say the same about this book as well, The Brahmin. This is a historical fiction and it reads like a thriller. There is whole mystery about who is killing uh, these girls in Ashoka's harem and what is like the bigger reason behind this and uh, you know what's the conspiracy and there is also this talk of the weapon the golden size and all of that stuff all of it made a very interesting read now the writing okay I really loved how the author has written this book you know it is really good but it is definitely not for beginners and you know for the lack of better word I would say it felt a little like tight it did not you know flow that smoothly but still the book was really really good and i would definitely recommend it to you if you're looking for a historical thriller overall i would give this book four out of five stars or maybe 4.3 out of five stars written really well but still you know four out of five stars <laughs> anyway if you're looking for a historical thriller and you want to you know check out this book you know go for it there are quite a lot of chances that you will end up liking this book as well. I definitely enjoyed it so much. And with this ends this reading vlog where I was able to read three books. And luckily, I liked all of these three books. So I'm really happy about it. And I will soon be back with another reading vlog. Um, I cannot give you a timeline on when these will be up. So I'll just announce it on my Instagram or maybe in the community tab. They depend on when I'm actually done with, you know, reading the books that I plan for the reading vlog yeah i hope uh, you enjoyed watching this reading vlog i hope um, you know you found something useful and entertaining from this and thank you so much for watching it till the end this is Manpi signing off i'll be back with another vlog very soon and the normal videos are coming up on sunday so do catch all of them